Jared Poland, fro knows photo .com, here with another super secret project video and people ask me all the time Jared you do not crop how do you print an 8x10 image well we know that the format that these digital SLRs shoot is 2x3 so the actual full you know a full size image would be an 8x12 or not full size but a full frame image would be 8x12 or 4x6 uh, and not 8x10 I really still don't know the origins of the 8x10 especially for so long that we've had 35 millimeters that somewhere along the way people started to think that 8x10 was the proper size to use when making a print but realistically it's cutting off two inches from your photo you are losing two inches vertically uh, or horizontally depending on the orientation now I being that I don't crop I want to print full frame and if somebody if you know if I have to do an 8x10 or an 11 by 14 or a 16 by 20 how do I print full frame on that do I fill the 16 by 20 inches with the image and however it falls I lose the you know it basically crops the image no what I like to do for 8x10s or 11 by 14s and I'm sure a lot of people out there do this is leave a white border show the full image and then you have your full frame image the actual image size of the printed area will not be 8 by 10 but it would be the full frame laid out on an 8 by 10 image a lot of artists or photographers do this where they'll have a 16 by 20 or an 11 by 14 and they will leave a white border for a frame for a mat and things like that so how do you create that when you want to take one of these two pictures one's a horizontal one is a vertical how do you make this an 8x10 image and print it 8x10. Well, I already opened the image up. The J, I, these are full res JPEGs exported from Lightroom. I know in Lightroom you can say open up in Photoshop or edit in Photoshop, but I want to do this so that most people, no matter how you're editing your JPEGs, whatever file, uh, whatever uh, program you're using, that you can do this in whatever you're doing it in. You, you know, most people are going to have some sort of Photoshop, whether it's Elements. Or a full-blown Photoshop or Photoshop 2, 3, 4. It doesn't matter which one you have because you can do this. So this is a full-frame image. Let's just show you what 8x10 would look like. So here's the crop tool. And this is, we would have it 8 inches wide by 10 inches high. We're not going to worry about this. And here we go. So I am drawing out Oops, what an 8x10 would look like. So this area would be an 8x10. I could get the full image in it, but the way that I shot it, I left enough headroom where I don't want it to look like this. To me, I am losing something in this image. So I'm going to undo that. This is how I want the image to be shown. I like the headroom. I shoot with a lot of headroom. For some reason, it just it feels less awkward to me. So how would we drop this vertical image on an 8x10 or to print on an 8x10? So I start off opening up a new document I'm gonna make it width is gonna be 8 inches height is going to be 10 inches because that's 8 by 10 there we go so that is open there's our blank canvas that's 8 by 10 if I was to drop this image on there it wouldn't show up properly it would it would crop because this is larger than 8 by 10 we can see that this image we will go to image size is 14 point you know that's how many inches it is coming out 12 megapixels out of the d3s so i've figured out that the height i would want to be like 9.1 inches i know it's weird but we'll see what happens so i just change the height that way i'm going to select all then i'm going to copy this layer or copy this image and then cut and then paste it right into my frame and it's going to be right in the middle when you hit paste so it's already set to go this is a full frame image sure the image is only 9.1 inches high by six point some inches wide but that is how you're going to get a full frame on an 8 by 10 or a 16 by 20 or an 11 by 14 something that is not 2 by 3 ratio if you like to crop and you don't mind cropping and you want to get an 8 by 10 that fills the whole frame fills the whole print then that's up to you but this is for people that want to know how you get the full frame image onto an 8x10 print.
So that's how you do that. Now you can also set up automations in Photoshop. So if you wanted to take a vertical image and have it resized, every time you hit say F6, you could create an automation where you record and how to automate the process and you say image size, change it, boom, done. So every time you hit F6, it's automatically going to change your image to 9.6 9.1 inches on the vertical. You can do the same thing for the horizontal, change it to 9.1 inches for the horizontal so that you can have this process if you do a lot of printing where it's all ready to go for you and you only have to do just a few steps, a few clicks of the button or a few hits of the uh, F F6 or whatever place you set it at. So that's how you get an 8 by 10 image or a f that's how you print a full frame image on an 8 by 10 sheet. That's it. It's pretty easy. You, you, you repeat the process for any other sizes that you want to do, but that's how you do it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!